Step five of the weatherization process of the quadrators here at UAV Forge consists of a two-part nanotech layer from Ultra Everdry. The two-part layer uh, is applied in obviously two steps. We put down the bottom layer, let that dry for about 20-30 minutes, then we apply the second layer and let that dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. The first step before applying the super hydrophobic nanotech coating is to protect yourself. It is recommended that you go outside, use nitrile gloves, P100 vapor masks, and goggles. We did our process in an enclosed and ventilated fume hood with students wearing nitrile gloves, safety goggles, and protection masks. Hello, my name is Patrick. I am with the Quad Forge program here at Montgomery County Community College. I am a senior over at North Point High School and involved with the Model Aviation Club and Junior ROTC. I am here to help out with their experiments and development of quad rotors. Hello, my name is Garrett Reese. I am attending the summer sessions at Montgomery County Community College and I am working on the Quad Forge UAV program. My job is to engineer 3D printed covers for our electronics that we work with on the quad rotors. Hi, my name is Joe DeMarco. I'm here working at the Quad Ford Project at Montgomery County Community College. Um, my primary responsibilities are to program the ground control station and modify it for a particular application. And I also help out and do some of the tests when I have a chance. I'm Joe and uh, I attend North Penn High School. I'm 16 and I got involved in the project with my model aviation club at the high school. Uh, JJ came in and they did a presentation and uh, I came up here and I've been in it for about a month, two months now and I've learned from everything from flying quads to changing out parts and it's been a blast. Once you are protected you can begin handling the chemicals. Start by vigorously shaking the bottom coat container for at least one minute. Once the bottom coat is viscous enough, pour it into the first glass container of the Prevol spray system. Screw the propellant canister firmly in place on the glass container. Apply the bottom coat three times on all sides of the target object. Let it stand for a half an hour. Thoroughly shake the top coat container before pouring it into the second glass container of the Prevol spray system. Again, firmly screw the propellant canister into the glass container. Apply the top coat three times to all sides of the target object. Let it stand for two hours. After you are finished applying the top and bottom coats, clean the two Prevol glass containers funnels, and all other equipment with xylene. So now that the quad is fully built, assembled, and calibrated, we can now do the first ever flight test of a flight controller completely coated with a nanotech layer. This is, as far as we know, a world first. We will be, for our first test, flying it via RC radio. It will be sending controls and commands to the radio receiver and then the flight controller will interpret those commands and tell the motors how fast to spin. Long story short, I'm flying it with this here. So we will power on the quad. All the motors appear to be going in the right direction and it is responding well to my inputs. So, we're cleared for takeoff. have it. 
first ever quad controlled nanotech covered coated flight controller yeah yeah